This is NASCAR Newscast, Weekend Preview Edition. Texas Motor Speedway is next for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series as it heads to the Lone Star State for Sunday's running of the Dickies 500. The lightning fast 1.5 mile track will host NASCAR's top division for the 18th time on Sunday and 2006 Texas winner Casey Kane calls the track one of his favorites. Yeah, it's actually a, you know, just a really neat track. I've always liked Texas and uh, it's fast. The banking is, is awesome. Uh, it's a little bit rough too. There's some spots that are kind of rough. So, you, you know, you have that side where your car's bouncing around and things. You have to get through the holes without maybe sliding the front or the back. So uh, it's a neat track. Series point leader Jimmy Johnson, who has a 184 point advantage over Mark Martin in the chase for the Spring Cup heading into the weekend, won at Texas back in 2007. He's hoping for another solid day on Sunday and a chance to gain more ground in his quest for a record fourth straight championship. It's taken us a while to get Texas under control, but the last you know, three to four events we've had there, uh, we've been competitive, scored uh, a win or two, and have been you know, very competitive and uh, taken home a lot of points. So in the end, I'm, I'm excited to go back. Um, it is a good track for my teammates and for chasers as well. So. I mean, everywhere I look, it's tough to think that you can gain many points on anybody. Matt Kenseth tops the drivers to watch this weekend based on NASCAR's Loop Data Driver Rating System. Kenseth has compiled a driver rating of 105.8 over the last nine races held at Texas Motor Speedway. Tony Stewart is right behind with a 105.4 rating, with Johnson third with a rating of 103.8. Texas will host a triple header weekend with the Camping World Truck Series in action Friday night and the Nationwide Series Saturday afternoon. This is NASCAR Newscast.